Now that we can't go out to movies and museums, all of us are just wandering around our neighborhoods, and we're starting to wonder more about the world that's just outside our front door. It would be nice if there was someone who could tell us more about it. You could knock on someone's door, but what if they're not wearing a mask, or they're busy, or that's pretty weird to do right now during social distancing? So what if our neighborhood was a museum? And you could use your phone like an audio guide at an art gallery that lets you scan a QR code and hear stories about the place that you're looking at. In this episode, we're building a QR code that you can scan to hear more info about something you just saw. Phil Nash is a Twilio dev evangelist and streamer that you might have seen on Twitch. Phil's in Australia, so usually when I'm winding down for the day, he's just getting started. We left Phil a message asking him if he could help us augment our neighborhood walks into more like neighborhood walking tours. I've been challenged by Christine to build a walking tour application for the city of Portland uh, in just a day. Apparently this building here just has people asking questions about it all the time. Like why are the trees literally hanging off of the building? To build a walking tour application that gets everything started with a phone number where we have somebody call into it, all we need to do is respond with the message we want to read out over the phone. Okay, so I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy an Australian number because that's, you know, for me right now to test with and I need voice. I just need voice for this. And the tour bin will be walking to example. And all it's gonna do, all it has to do is a response tag. And then what are we gonna do? We just need to play. We need to play a file, uh, which will be that recording of a message about the building. That's all we need to do, right? Uh, and I can put in a test file for now. I'm done, walking tour is over. I went from nothing to a phone number in, in no time at all there. Okay, so I'm just gonna call that number that I bought and add it to Twilbin to and see what happens. Obviously, uh, we, we start with a Rickroll. We have to start everything with a Rickroll, right? So now that the app is done, we need to design the content that goes in it. So I reached out to an inclusive design educator, Hannah Silver, to help write the content. She hooked us up with Ben Carr, who's the architect. We met, toured the space, and conducted a brief interview. I think we were imagining this to be just like a little sticker, but as we got to talking about it, it'd be really fun if it looked more like a museum-style piece. So this is the piece that got designed. These 56 strawberry trees were hoisted up with a tower crane and installed in their new homes. They're each expected to grow to be about 10 feet tall. They're also cleaning the exhaust coming off the adjacent Morrison Bridge ramp, as this many strawberry trees will sequester over half a ton of carbon out of the air every year. The concept behind this building was to bring some trees into the central east side. Really, at its most basic level, that's what this building does. We've got one of the more close in neighborhoods in Portland that has almost no street trees, no parks of any kind. And the only kind of nature you get is along the Willamette River waterfront. And so now we have these 56 strawberry trees that will provide bird habitat, not to mention all of the myriad psychological benefits that trees provide to people in the neighborhood. And that's it. We're gonna keep this QR code up for the next couple of months and see how our mini audio tour works out. What places in your neighborhood deserve their own neighborhood museum? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, subscribe so you can get notified when we post others, or check out this cool video right now. <laughs>